In today's episode, I'm giving you 17 of my absolute best guerrilla marketing tactics for entrepreneurs. These are proven, effective, tried and true methods that you can use for all stages of business. So if you wanna generate more leads, customers, and sales for your business, this video is for you. Hey there, my name is Adam Earhart, Modern Marketing Strategist, and welcome to The Modern Marketing Show, where we help you grow your business by making way better marketing. On this channel, we cover the most proven and effective marketing strategies available today. So if that's something you're into, you may want to consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. All right, let's talk guerrilla marketing tactics. Essentially, these are things that are innovative, slightly unconventional, and definitely low cost. And they're all going to be aimed at getting you maximum exposure for your brand, your business, your product, or your service. And while in this video, we're going to cover 17 of my absolute best guerrilla marketing tactics, things that are actually practical, things that you can actually do, and things that you actually want to do that aren't going to damage your brand or your reputation or your spirit. After all, things like cold calling and door knocking may work, but they're soul sucking and make you feel terrible. And let's be honest, they actually don't work that well. So when it comes to guerrilla marketing, it's really about just as much the things that you don't do as well as the strategies that you are going to deploy. That's why we're not going to be spending a fortune here on TV ads or radio ads or newspaper ads. We're not going to be spending thousands or tens of thousands of dollars on a new website. And we're definitely not going to be focusing on things like vanity metrics, those likes, comments, and shares that make you feel good but really don't do anything to drive your business forward. On the other hand, we're going to be covering 17 proven and effective guerrilla marketing tactics, things that I've actually used in my business, things that I recommend to my clients, especially when they're just getting started, and things that you can actually go out there and deploy yourself today. All right, so with all that said, let's dive right into the good stuff with O2020, also commonly referred to as OTOTO. And what this basically stands for is online to offline to online, or we can switch it around and go offline to online to offline. Now, this might sound like a little more conventional and a little more traditional advertising, certainly not a guerrilla tactic, but stick with me because the beauty of this methodology is what we're going to be doing is essentially covering the entire customer journey, but doing it with only a very select segment of our customer audience, which is going to keep costs way low and definitely under control. So here's how an O2O2O to o to o strategy works. Basically, the first step is we've got to get people to our website by any means possible. And we're going to cover 16 different ways to do that coming right up. So stick with me. But step one is getting people to our website because if we can get them to our website and we can capture that lead, either the name and the email and ideally their mailing address by giving them some kind of low cost or entry level offer like a free plus shipping or possibly a book or anything that we can really collect that mailing address. Because what we're going to do here is we're going to collect collect these leads, we're then going to be able to mail them something hard copy, and then we can also retarget them online after that. I know it sounds confusing, but here's how this really plays out and why it's truly effective. You see, by first collecting traffic and leads to your website, this can be done really effectively and really cost effectively, especially using the rest of the strategies we're going to be talking about. So we get people to our website and then we collect some kind of mailing information from them by giving them something in exchange, whether it's that book or a newsletter or something to get that mailing address. Now the beauty here is we've got a very targeted list of potential prospects that we can then mail something to. We're not going to be doing a massive direct mail campaign and mailing out to 50,000 or 100,000 people. Rather, we may just be mailing 20 or 50 or maybe even 100 people, a very selective people who have clearly indicated an interest in your business. Now from this mailing, you can include a link to a free training or another free download and get them back online. This is also going to open up all sorts of different retargeting options, but we can talk about all that later. Now the reason I've put O to O to O at the top of the list at number one is because it's a strategy that so few people are using and yet it's so incredibly effective because you're increasing touch points with your customers across a wide variety of channels, which again limits your costs and really limits your risk because you're not putting all your eggs in one basket. All right, and that brings us to guerrilla marketing tactic number two, video marketing. Now, again, there is a bit of an overlap here depending on how you're structuring your video marketing. Of course, if we're gonna do a fully produced video, we're going to a studio, that's not guerrilla marketing, that's definitely more conventional. But if we're shooting kind of guerrilla style videos with our cell phones or maybe with a cheap handheld camera, well, these can be really good live action case study in the trenches type videos that really build a connection and a lot more trust and authenticity with your customers. 
The beauty is video can be done incredibly cost effectively. After all, you're probably watching this either on your phone, which has a camera, or on your laptop, which also has a camera. So we're pretty much already covered gear wise. Next, this video can be laser targeted using advertising like Facebook or Instagram or even YouTube, or it can be run as a live stream, which means that you're gonna go live just like we would on live TV. Only this way is free. And of course, you have natural organic video, which means you can simply take a video and then upload it to your personal Facebook page, your business Facebook page, your personal YouTube channel, your business YouTube channel, your personal Instagram account, you get the picture. The way I'm advocating using video marketing as a guerrilla tactic here is really just to get out there and get that content made, but make sure that you're the one on camera pitching your message and connecting with your audience. Now my next guerrilla marketing tactic that I really wanna suggest you deploy is a spin on traditional advertising, but essentially stringing traditional ads together in the form of a story sequence. Here's what I mean. Let's take for example, some of the video marketing that you just shot in the previous tip. You've got your cell phone, you're out there, you're talking to potential customers, you're sharing some value and giving some insights on what you do and how it benefits people. Well, what you can do is you can take this first video and you can put it out there to your target market. And from there, you can retarget, meaning you can take a percentage of the people who've watched part of that video and show them the next ad or the next video, but only if they've watched that first one or a section of it. So basically, you put your video out to 100 people. Let's say 50 people watch half of it. Well, then you're gonna show the next part of the story to that 50%. And again, you do it again and again and again, further and further down the funnel. Now, what makes this such a guerrilla marketing tactic is that all we really need to do is create that one first ad that gets attention and makes people aware of us and draws them in. And then from there, every subsequent step further down the funnel becomes cheaper and more effective as you continue to build trust and continue to build rapport. Now, the beauty of the technology side of this is it's incredibly easy to implement. It's a little trickier on Facebook because you need to create all sorts of different audiences and make sure they're structured right. But on YouTube, all you need to really do is upload what videos you want to appear in what sequence, and it takes care of the rest. This strategy can also be done for only a few bucks a day, so it's definitely cost effective, certainly worth trying. And that leads us perfectly into guerrilla marketing tactic number four, omnipresence. Now, one thing that I hear all the time is, Adam, I see you everywhere. And this really just comes down to my retargeting strategy. Meaning, once I've gotten people to the website, I can then retarget them across Facebook, across the Google Display Network, across YouTube, across Instagram, and essentially appear for pennies on the dollar because I'm dealing with a much smaller audience. You see, that's the reason that something like a Super Bowl TV ad is so expensive. It's because so many people are gonna be watching and you're reaching just millions of different people. Well, we don't wanna reach millions of people, nor do we need to. All we really wanna do is reach people who are potential customers and who've already shown an interest in our business. And that's the power of retargeting. Basically taking an audience of people who've engaged with you in some way, shape or form, and then showing your content to them and only them. And when you do it strategically, pick the channels that you want to appear on, which when it comes to retargeting, my advice is more the merrier. Well, you're able to show up again and again and again. And as consumers, we've been kind of conditioned to associate frequency with trust. So the more that you appear in front of someone, the more likely they are to trust you, the more likely they are to do business with you. All right, guerrilla marketing tip number five is to have some kind of promotional item. Now, promotional items, they sound a little cheesy and they're probably one of the more corny things on this list, but they're also incredibly effective. So what is it? Well, something like a t-shirt or a coffee mug or a water bottle or a cell phone case, something that's branded with your company that you can give away or add on or basically use as some kind of promotion. Now, my advice, if you're just getting started here, is in our research and pretty much across the statistics, we've seen that t-shirts are one of the most desirable and they're definitely one of the easiest things to have produced. So if you don't know what kind of promotional item to create first, definitely start there. The beauty is there's a number of online t-shirt manufacturers who will go and put your logo or your message or your branding across pretty much any t-shirt and allow you to sell it, which means you can either give it away or you can sell it and make a profit. All right, and our next tip is to use Lumpy Mail. Now, you may have heard of Lumpy Mail before. Essentially, all it is is some kind of package that's actually physically tangible and thicker than a traditional letter. Now, I don't need to speak only from experience when I tell you how much I enjoy getting packages in the mail because the statistics show that even younger generations still like receiving tangible direct mail. The key here is this is definitely more a B2B or business to business strategy, meaning you're not gonna wanna send lumpy mail to millions of different prospects or it's definitely not guerrilla marketing because it's gonna cost you a fortune. 
But if you can hand pick 10, 20, maybe even 50 ideal prospects or customers, people that you really want to do business with, well, sending them a physical package in the mail is a great way to get noticed and get attention. Now, you can do the cheesy, kind of corny thing and send them some kind of gimmick, or, or you can do something like I recommend, which is simply to send them a book and maybe highlight a few sections that you thought might be relevant or interesting to them. The next guerrilla marketing tactic that I really want to talk about is some kind of printed material, whether it's a simple lead magnet or something a little more robust like an actual printed book or handbook. You see, there's something incredibly powerful about having a printed word that you can actually go out and give to someone. This kind of works aligned with lumpy mail, but we want to really reserve this printed material for potential prospects or people that we can actually go and meet in person. So we have something to leave them with. Think of it as kind of an updated or more modern business card. Now, I can already hear some of you saying, I hate writing, I'm not a writer, I'm definitely not going to write a book, and that's totally cool. There's a number of different options available depending on what budget you're working with. Obviously, the cheapest option, seeing as we're making a video about kind of cheap marketing options considering guerrilla marketing tactics, well, the cheapest option is definitely to just sit down and try to crank it out yourself. Write the best you can, and you can find a freelance or outsource to some kind of editor to help polish it up a bit. The more expensive option, definitely the quickest one as well, is to hire a ghostwriter, which is someone that can take your words and your stories and translate that into an actual physical book that you can then call your own. Now, you don't need to write 30,000 or 40,000 or 50,000 pages here. In fact, you could even start with a small handbook or a guidebook or a playbook. Just make sure that it's professionally packaged and, and looks really nice and you'll be good to go. The next guerrilla marketing tactic I want to share with you is something that I've never done, but I have heard that it's one of the most effective forms of local advertising available today, and that's a car wrap, where essentially what you're doing is you're wrapping your car or getting it designed so that your whole car or truck or van or whatever you drive becomes an advertising in and of itself. Now, I've never done this myself, as I've just said, but I do see how it could be a valuable tool, especially if it's done well and especially if it's done creatively. The only caveat here is if you drive like a crazy person, in which case, don't do that. Best nobody knows who you are. All right, so the next guerrilla marketing tactic I want to share with you is one that has proven incredibly effective, is also very cheap to do, and makes a meaningful and powerful impact, and that is handwritten notes. Now, it sounds really simple to just write out a handwritten note and mail it to somebody or give it to somebody, but there's something really powerful about the act of actually handwriting something, especially in today's economy where we're emailing and we're texting and everything gets printed and very little gets handwritten. Now, even if your handwriting is as terrible as mine, I still recommend trying your best to write out a nice, simple, and clean handwritten note. Mine's often illegible, but I often take a second, really step back, take a few deep breaths, and do my best to make it look as nice as possible because the impact and the rewards that you get in forms of connection and appreciation and really showing someone gratitude, well, the rewards are well worth the effort. If you're looking for someone who's definitely leveraged the power of handwritten notes and talks all about them, I recommend the book Blue Fishing by Steve Sims. I'll make sure to link it up in the descriptions below. Steve's a great guy and he's got some really cool stories, so definitely check out the book if you haven't before. All right, so our next guerrilla marketing tactic is a great and totally free way to get massive exposure on some pretty big name sites, and that is Harrow, or Help a Reporter Out. Essentially, what Harrow does is it links up reporters who are looking for experts or information or kind of news or content that they can add to their articles, and it links them up with experts just like you who know something about a certain topic. How it works is really simple. Basically, you subscribe by putting in your email, which is totally free. They'll send you a list of different articles or different topics that reporters are looking for, and then you write to the reporter and let them know, yeah, I'm interested, I've got this content to share, I've got this story, I can find this for you, whatever it is. And in return, when they use your content, you get to be featured on magazines like Forbes or the Huffington Post or Entrepreneur, or whatever's relevant to your niche. If you're working with a low budget or you're just getting started and you want that publicity, this is a great place to start. Now my next guerrilla marketing tactic is less about marketing and more about accepting the marketing and really kind of facilitating all the leads that you've been generating up until now. And that's by having multiple contact methods. You see, your goal as a marketer or business owner or entrepreneur is to really smooth things out and to remove any friction from someone trying to give you money. And one of the biggest ways that I see businesses totally mess this up is by making it really hard to contact them. So my advice here is to make sure that you've got multiple contact methods, meaning someone can send you an email, they can call you on the phone, they might be able to message you through a app on your website, or they could send you a message through your Facebook page or an Instagram DM. 
Whatever it is, make sure that you've got multiple contact points because each one of your customers is going to have a preferred method of communication and you want to make it as smooth and easy for them as possible. All right, so the next guerrilla marketing tactic we have to talk about is press releases. Now, this is pretty old school, but the beauty of the press release is that most of the time they're free. You see, much in the same way that Harrow hooks up reporters with experts in order to get content for their stories, well, newspapers also need content for their newspapers. So, if you can submit a press release about something that's going on in your business or something that's going on that might be relevant to them and to their audience, well, they'll often print it and distribute it to all of their readers for absolutely free. Now this press release strategy isn't just limited to the newspaper, also applies to TV and probably even more so to radio. After all, creating audio content is a whole lot easier. The key here is to make that initial contact and make sure that you've got something newsworthy going on in your business. Also, you'd be surprised how low the bar is for what's considered newsworthy, so just do something interesting or valuable and they'll pick up the story. With a little help, of course. The next tactic we're going to talk about here is free trainings, which is essentially putting on educational mini seminars or mini trainings for your local area in the area of your expertise. For example, let's say you're a photographer. Well, you could put on an evening seminar and teach people how to switch from auto on their camera to manual. Or if you happen to be a dog trainer, you could put on a weekend seminar on how to train your puppy or the first eight weeks with your puppy at home. If you're an engineer, you could teach people how to build a bridge or a skyscraper. No, don't do that one. I can only imagine the liability issues. But you get the point. Basically, emphasize your expertise and teach people how to do what you do. Obviously, don't give them the entire system, but give them the first few steps and then let them know where they can learn the rest, which is obviously from you. All right, so our next guerrilla marketing tactic is the giveaway contest, but there's a couple nuances here that can really prevent you from getting burned and actually make it effective. First off, the reason giveaway contests work is kind of self-evident. People like getting free stuff. But where so many businesses get burned is they give away things that are irrelevant to their target market or they appeal to a broad mass market. For example, if you're a, well, we'll use the photography example again. Let's say you're a photographer and you're giving away a free iPad. The problem here is that you're going to attract a lot of people who aren't photographers because who doesn't want a free iPad? On the other hand, if you were to give away a lens or lens cleaning solution or something camera related, well, then you're probably going to get a much more targeted audience of people interested in what you have to offer, rather than those freebie seekers who just want free stuff. And therein lies the key. All right, so our next guerrilla marketing tactic is easily one of my favorites on this list. In fact, it might be my second favorite. My first favorite's coming up soon. But my second favorite here is all about content marketing, and this was one of the core pillars of how I built my first business. The beauty of content marketing is much the same as putting on events or seminars or teaching people in that it allows you to share your information and your expertise in a friendly, knowledgeable, and approachable way. Now, whether you'd prefer to do video or podcasting or good old-fashioned writing, there's a free solution available for you. For example, if you want to do video, well, you've got YouTube where you can host your videos. You want to do a podcast? Well, you can do it through Anchor. And if you want to write a blog, well, there's a million different options, including WordPress, which allows you to host all of your articles for free. Now, I could go on for days about the importance and the beauty and the magic of content marketing, but the reality is is that we've been conditioned to associate teachers and people in positions of authority that educate us as experts. And so we tend to give them a little bit more weight, a little bit more trust, and a little bit more credibility. You want to take advantage of that by creating content. All right, so our next guerrilla marketing tactic is a form of barter or a form of partnership or a contra deal as it's often known. And essentially what you're going to do here is you're going to find somebody with which to trade services with. Now, this is an absolutely amazing strategy, especially if you're good at what you do, because you're going to be able to clearly demonstrate this to another entrepreneur or business owner and provide value to them, which means that they may be more likely to share that with their audience. And in return, you're going to get whatever services they offer to you. Now, the key here is that you're obviously not going to want to pick a direct competitor because the goal here is for both of you to kind of work in a symbiotic and synchronous and synergistic symbiosis cooperation. I'm getting off track. The beauty here is that it's going to allow you guys to basically work together so that everybody wins. This is basically what I did when I first started my social media marketing agency. I partnered with a local print shop, so I would do their social media marketing, and in return they would print my flyers and my business cards and other promotional items that I needed. 
In the end, I saved thousands on printed materials and I got a ton of really good experience and access to all of their clients who, well, if they need printed things like business cards and promotional items, well, they tend to be my target market too because they're most likely gonna be entrepreneurs or business owners. At the end of the day, we both won and it was a fantastic deal. All right, so our next guerrilla marketing tactic definitely crosses the line from guerrilla to more traditional, but it's definitely worth mentioning because it's just so incredibly effective and mostly in regards to guerrilla marketing, it's cost effective. And that tactic is Facebook ads. Again, still easily one of the most cost-effective forms of online advertising available today. Now, the reason I'm mentioning it here is because of a couple different factors. Number one is the targeting, which means that you can dial in on exactly who it is that you're trying to reach, including their demographic details, like their age, gender, income, occupation, things like that. Their geographic details, what city, state, province, country, or wherever they live and their psychographic details. What are their attitudes, their interests, their behaviors, their organizations or teams that they're a part of? The targeting is just essentially so detailed, we really can't miss. The other side of the coin is that it can be done for really just a few dollars a day, making it by far one of the most cost-effective forms of advertising available. Plus, seeing as everything's online and everything's tracked, we can figure out to the penny what something's costing us. So rather than spending thousands on say, a newspaper ad or a radio ad and really not knowing how it worked, but well, with Facebook ads, we can track exactly how much a click cost, how much a lead cost, and how much a sale cost. All right, so the next thing you wanna do here is definitely check out the video I've got linked here on the top 20 digital marketing strategies for small businesses. In it, I'm giving 20 of my absolute best tips and tricks to really help grow your business. I've also linked up a video on how to get more clients and customers for your business. So take your pick, choose whichever one you think is gonna be more relevant to you, and definitely dive into that now. All right, so thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you next time on The Modern Marketing Show.